What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. What I have for you today is a rather technical video for all of the map makers among you. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to link the XP bar of a player to a custom scoreboard objective. Okay, so first of all, let me demonstrate the whole thing to you. So here we have some command blocks, which are going to set my level score to a certain number. And if I go into game mode 2, and for example hit this one you see my xp bar is going to be set to 12 and because this is the level score that i just applied to myself of course i can do this with 20 and 0 and any value that i wish so if i simply activate this hopper clock it's going to remove um, one from my level score every uh every somewhat seconds and if i do uh, modify my levels manually um, using a command for example um, then it's simply going to uh, ignore that and set the level score to the desired value and yeah so using this you can have for example countdowns in the XP bar and you do not have to worry whether a player was online by giving him relative XP amounts and so this is basically just always going to set the XP bar to the level score. Okay, so if I go into game mode 1, uh, I can explain to you how this works. First of all, if we do scoreboard objectives list, I have three dummy objectives, with the first one being level, which is simply the one um, which I can modify however I wish, and my XP score is going to be set to that value. Then we have diff, which simply stands for difference, and current. And here we simply have a fill clock. Um, it's going from this in that direction, so these command blocks are going to be executed before these, etc. And the ones on the bottom are going to be executed before the ones on top. So, first of all, um, we're going, going to do scoreboard players add at A, diff and current zero. So, every player who joins the world is going to have a current and diff score. Um, this is just to prevent the players having empty scores, because if I have an empty scoreboard, some selectors are not working. Okay, the first one is a slash stats command. This is already the heart of the whole thing, and it's a slash stats entity command targeting every player, and it's going to store the query results in uh, the same players, which is at P, um, current scoreboard. So whenever I ask for a query, the result is being scored in my current scoreboard. So, um, yeah, let me explain it to you. Here, I execute to every player slash XP zero levels um, to myself. So every player simply adds zero levels to himself and the command is going to return a query result. And this query result, um, is basically um, the amount of XP which a player has. So if I do scoreboard objective set display sidebar current, you see, um, if I go into game mode 2 and do XP 10L, whoops, like this, do a slash XP 10L, you see, my current score is going to increase and it's going to be set to uh, whatever value my um, XP bar is currently at. This is done using the slash stats command. So, um, okay, this is going to be executed pretty late in uh, the command queue, but I'm going to explain it first because it's needed. Um, now that we have the current XP value of a player scored in the current um, scoreboard objective, we're going to do some scoreboard operations. And therefore I have my third objective called diff, which is for difference. And I'm going to set my difference score to my current score. And then I am going to uh, remove my level score from my difference score. So for example, let's say I have 100 XP and I, in total, I have 50 levels on my XP bar, which is 
um yeah which is basically the value which we have and 100 is our level score sorry i messed up there so let's say 100 is our level score and 50 is the current score that we're having um which represents the xp bar value so if i do um this command it's simply going to um, get my current score which is 50 and remove my level score from it so 100 50 minus 100 is going to equal minus 50 and a different example if our level score is 200 and our current score is um, 150 um, the different score is going to be set to 50 so there are two alternatives if my different score is below zero this means that I have less XP than I should have and then it's going to give me some XP if I have um, if my different score is above zero this means that I have um, too much XP and it's going to remove one so this is what happens here um, okay here uh, if my different score is at is uh, less than minus one or less or equal than minus one then I'm going to be added one level and otherwise I'm going to be removed one level yeah I hope that you understood how this concept works and I hope that you can use it in your own map I am not going to provide a schematic download because all of you who know how to um, use this yeah, they can easily build it themselves they can use custom selectors so only for certain players the XP score is going to be set etc etc and you can of course use custom objective names I am of course going to use this in my soccer map to uh, display the um, time that's remaining for a game this way I do not always have to switch around the scoreboard on the sidebar and yeah so for me for me this has a pretty practical use and if I go into gamer 2 again I can just do scoreboard players set the LMC uh, level 1000 and then if I do scoreboard objective set display sidebar difference you see um, the difference is always below zero so it's going to add me one level each tick and this 20 times per second so yeah after quite some time it's going to reach the limit uh, where the difference score is going to be set to zero and once it's set to zero um, yeah nothing is going to happen and my XP bar is going to stay this way thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this neat little trick which for sure will come in handy for some of you map makers thanks for watching see you in the next video bye